Get ready to take your mobile cinematography and video experience to next level. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Himanshu here. You're watching Get Assist, and today we are unboxing and reviewing DJI's Osmo Mobile SE Gimbal, the ultimate tool to create buttery smooth videos from your mobile. So whether you are an entry-level cinematographer, a filmmaker, or just someone who loves to shoot videos, this video will answer all your questions, all your queries. So stick around. So guys, inside the box, I have this uh, type A to C cable for charging purpose. This is the clamp and it is magnetic and it will be really fun to use. And uh, one more thing, these are some cushion like foams. This we can use here where the phone grips, but they actually having one, but it's for safer side. Next thing is this attachment that will work as a tripod stand and uh, will give you an extension to your gimbal. And the last thing, the gimbal. Let's assemble it and uh, let's power on it. It has some modes and uh, let's press the power button. It's on. Okay, moving further, this attachment. Well, you can use your tripod stands also to use this instead of this to give it a height. It will work like this. Hmm, a gripping experience. Now let's attach a phone to it. It's super light, not too much heavy. Nice. Let's remove this attachment and go for a testing and uh, we'll talk about its battery life, its modes and also the Mimo app which will guide you to use this more effectively and efficiently. Not efficiently, effectively only. So talking about the device, to switch it on, first of all, Press on this M button for a while and it's on. I have opened the Mimo DJI app which is capable of using and enhancing the video quality and giving you different modes and features to shoot very well. So here are some buttons. This button helps you to record or capture photos or videos. Just press it once and see the recording is on. Switch it back and it's off. Now, this button helps you to rotate the device from portrait to landscape by double tapping and then back to portrait by double tapping. Now, this key is the joystick which you will really like to use and operate. You can control its speed by using the app. So, to reset it, I'll just use this button. Double tap this gunshot trigger button and it will get back to its original position. Now, it has one more key here, which is this key for zooming and zoom out. You have to press it upward to zoom in and downward to zoom out. I'll show you. So I'll turn it on from here, the video starts, now I'll push it upward, see it's zooming, downward, it's zooming back, I'll show you by using this thing, cool. And to test the modes, just press the M button once. And it's the tilt lock mode, then FPV mode and follow mode. So guys, we are back at the terrace and let's test it. We have installed the Mimo app of DJI, which is used to operate this. Let's first try some footages. I'll make one footage with the gimbal and make another one without the gimbal. Let's test the stability. So we have modes here. We have the recording button here. We have the vertical and uh, if we double tap it, it will turn to landscape and then double tap again to vertical 
if you move it here like this like this we have a back gun shot button here to make it again back to stable position like this and uh, this joystick i really like it I've came back running so that we can check uh, the stability of handedly without the gimbal. Well, I could see the difference from the screen only, but we'll show you in the footage. So guys, there's a really cool face tracking feature in it and we are using it right in front of you so that uh, I'll be moving here to there and here and there and uh, I might dance on it and let's check how it's moving with me. Okay, so I'm going this word and now this side and uh, I'll sit down. Cool. So guys, we have checked it. We have checked its modes, its uh, application, the Mimo DJI app, the stability and the battery life too. It has six hours battery life. And if you talk about whether to buy it or not, if you are a beginner, you are starting with it. If you never ever used a gimbal, this is really good device for you. But if you are into this business, if you are having a gimbal of any company of any style or a successor variant of like DJI Osmo 4, 5, 6, then you should not go for it because it is for beginners and the advanced ones have more features as I have used them. But this one is pretty cool for the beginners. If you are a vlogger, if you are a content creator, you are into filmmaking, you are just started up with your cinematography, mobile cinematography, this one is absolutely the one you should go for. Smooth footages, easy setup and compact. Obviously, you can carry it in the pouch that we have got and it quickly dismantles and you can even carry your mobile in your pocket while using this, this magnetic clamp and uh, the device is also compatible of carrying in your pocket only. So it's a must have for anyone who is starting up with their video career. And that's all, just subscribe to our channel and keep watching, get assist.